What's up guys? I'm going from Tarachi Eco Farm. It's another beautiful day here at the farm. And today I'll be taking you to our raised bed garden. There are a few of you who've asked, okay, there's a bee that's trying to sting me. There are a few of you that have asked uh, how to make the raised bed garden. And I'll just walk you through it. Uh, we didn't film while we were making the raised beds, but I hope uh, I can take you through it and how you can do the same for your farm. This right here is our last raised bed that we did and you can see here we used wood so uh, for our raised beds we've used both wood and uh, off cuts let me just show you the off cuts so this is one of the beds where we've used uh, off cuts so you can use either of them we've used two of them similar to uh, the bow there we've used two of them right here this one and this one and it's a very simple structure you have these at the edges, this support at the edges, and you just um, just to hold on to uh, the off cuts. And what we did now on the bed, so now on the beds, uh, what we did was we filled the beds with, um, first of all, we put a lot of organic matter, like kitchen waste. We also put some uh, logs of wood that we could find around the farm. And then we uh, after that we put some compost uh, and after that we were able to plant the crops like you can see here these are just some seedlings these are just some seedlings some cabbage seedlings that uh, we have here some beetroot we have some carrots here that we directly sowed uh, and then after planting then you can put your mulch so here we've used uh, sawdust mulch yeah it's readily available in this area although we don't get it for free but if you can get it for free the better alternatively if uh, you can you can put the mulch before uh, before you do uh, the transplanting of the crops so once once you put the mulch then you can just come probably let's say I wanted to transplant these cabbage seedlings again you just dig a small hole and uh, put your seedling right here so that's the simple way in which our raised bed gardens uh, have been constructed the other different ways that people make them you can check them out uh, on other channels but that's what we've done uh, on our farm yeah now that you're done with that part of constructing the raised bed uh, then so for us, by the way, we constructed our raised beds just to solve the erosion problem that we had and also soil fertility. So on the raised beds, we use a lot of compost. On the rest of the farm, we don't use as much because we don't have enough for the whole farm. So it was a way of just concentrating a lot of nutrients in one area so that we can harvest more crops. Uh, there are other different reasons why people use raised beds, but for us, those were the main ones. And now let me show you the growth uh, on our race, on our other raised beds and see whether this inspires you to build one for your farm too. Today we'll start with this, the third raised bed that we did. And here we majorly have potatoes and the potatoes have been flowering. Uh, I think I showed you this in our last video. But more importantly, we're having the cucumbers at the edges. I can see some tiny little cucumbers. Uh, even on this other plant, I guess we have a few. Uh, I don't think we really thought about uh, how we combined the crops here because you can see the uh, potatoes are, are uh, invading onto the cucumbers and the cucumbers are attaching themselves to the potato plants. The idea was to have the cucumber plants attached to the uh, structure itself and just run along the structure not on these other plants so i've been trying to amend that so that one is a bit free and it will be able to support itself uh, along that structure on to our second raised bed ah, another thing i forgot to say the way we've structured our raised beds is that uh, we don't have to uh, get inside the bed for you to do any kind of work so you make it accessible, so you're able to do your weeding from both sides of the structure so that uh, you avoid uh, compacting the soil, yeah? So on this second bed, we have uh, 
about four tomato plants and they've all started fruiting so look at those fruits we have others on this plant and another one there at the edge yeah so not supporting my plants this season my tomato plants but hopefully they'll survive onto our very first raised bed this is an example of a raised bed that should not build <laughs> actually we are planning uh, probably at the end of the season probably at the end of the season or the next season i uh, will be able to make a better structure for that raised bed and the reason for that is the bed is not accessible from both sides um, you cannot access some plants unless you get inside the bed and when you get inside the bed you compact the soil and it becomes very difficult for the water to just penetrate through the soil and to get it to the plants that's notwithstanding we are still seeing some growth on our cabbages we've been harvesting our lettuce let me just show you a good example you can see on this lettuce these are the leaves that we've harvested so we just harvest the outer leaves so that the plant continues to grow we also harvested uh, the first eggplant of the season it happened to grow pretty fast I actually didn't uh, since i was using my hands i didn't manage to get the whole of it so you can see there is a small part of it that remains but we are seeing more eggplants let me show you other eggplant crops you can see some other eggplants also has a small tiny one there we have another one here and we have another one here that should be eating soon <laughs> look how big this is yeah so that's it for our tour today <laughs> be sure to check out uh, our other videos let us know what else you'd like to see on our farm we also have a poultry farm on the upper part of the shamba of the farm so we'll be glad to share with you any kind of information that you'd like to know uh, in the meantime remember to give us a like share a comment share our videos with people who are interested in self-sufficiency and let us know what have you tried out that you've seen we've done on our farm yeah so bye bye until the next time and let's connect on the comment section bye bye